Hello and happy holidays, kid. I am Woody, the old wooden man. Hi, kid, and I'm your storyteller. And today we have a bilingual book that celebrates Three Kings Day, El Día de los Tres Reyes Magos. In my country of indeterminate origin, this is one of the many holidays that we celebrate. And I love it. I love the parades. I love how it makes January so very special. Please proceed now with the story before I have to go to my podiatrist appointment. Okay, Woody, we'll get started. All right, here we go. Tres Reyes Magos. I love this holiday. It comes on January the 6th. Here we go. On Three Kings Day, you might wake up early. El día de los tres reyes magos puedes despertar temprano. Why? Because children who celebrate this holiday are too excited to sleep late because they know that they probably have presents waiting for them when they awake. Los niños quieren, quieren celebrar este día festivo están muy emocionados para poder dormir hasta tarde porque saben que probablemente tienen regalos esperándolos al despertar. See, if you've never celebrated Three Kings Day, that's like, in Latin countries, Christmas Day. All your presents come on Three Kings Day. Instead of December 25th, they come on January the 6th. Excited to find gifts in the shoes you left by your bed. Y encontrar regalos en los zapatos que dejaste al pie de la cama. It says here, it is a custom for parents to tell their children that if they leave their shoes by their beds, the three kings might visit during the night and fill them with small gifts. Es una tradición para los padres de contarle a sus hijos que si dejan sus zapatos al pie de su cama, los tres reyes magos pueden visitarlos durante la noche y llenar los zapatos con regalos pequeños. Well, I have to say, my parents didn't tell me to leave my shoes out, so maybe that's some parents, but not all of them, because um, maybe your presents won't fit in a shoe. Then you make a king's crown to wear on your head. Luego haces, luego haces una corona de rey para llevar en tu cabeza. On Three Kings Day, you might dress up like a king. El día de los tres reyes magos te puedes vestir como un rey. And the three kings, of course, visited baby Jesus in the manger on January 6th, and they brought him the frankincense and the myrrh, you know, the, the, the gifts that they offered from their different countries, and that's those gifts, see? And then that's like for January 6th, they bring gifts to the little kids. Ah, so... They might dress up like a king in a costume made of purple suede. En un vestuario hecho de cuero morado. Wow, Leante, I never wore a purple suede. That's pretty fancy, I have to say. Then you walk next to camels in a city parade. Luego caminas al lado de camellos en un desfile de la ciudad. I love the Three Kings Day parade. Loved it, marched in them, so much fun. On Three Kings Day, you might help to bake a special cake. El día de los tres reyes magos puedes ayudar a hacer un pastel especial. Hmm, makes me feel like baking a cake now. With a statue of a baby inside. Con una estatua de un bebé por dentro. Oh, see? It's a popular custom to hide a tiny figure of a baby that represents baby Jesus in the cake or bread. Una tradición popular es esconder una figura pequeña de un bebé en el pastel o el pan que representa al bebé Jesús. The lucky person who finds it might be right at your side. La persona afortunada que lo encuentra puede estar a tu lado. On Three Kings Day, you could put your name in a crown. El día de los tres reyes magos, puedes poner tu nombre en una corona and make a holiday toast y hacer un brindis festivo. Algunas veces antes de beber, una persona alzará su vaso y hará un discurso breve en honor de alguien o algo. Sometimes before doing the toast, the person will make a short speech in honor of someone or something. Then you pick out the name of the next party's host. Luego escoges el nombre del festejador de la próxima fiesta. O festejador, or I like to say anfitrión. And that's it. Now, a little bit more about Three Kings Day in case you've never heard about it before. It's a Christian holiday commemorating the biblical story of the three wise men, also called the three kings. They followed a special star to find the newborn baby Jesus and gave him gifts. Christians consider Jesus to be the son of God. 
The holiday is celebrated on January 6th and is widely observed by Hispanics around the world. They often exchange gifts on Three Kings Day rather than on Christmas Day. Many traditions are followed on this holiday. So here in, in Español, El Día de los Tres Reyes Magos es un día festivo cristiano. Celebra la historia bíblica de los Tres Reyes Magos, también conocidos simplemente como los Reyes Magos. Seguían una estrella especial en busca del recién nacido niño Jesús para otorgarle regalos. Los cristianos consideran a Jesús el Hijo de Dios. El día festivo se celebra el 6 de enero. El Día de los Tres Reyes Magos se observa extensamente por los hispanos de alrededor del mundo y frecuentemente se intercambian regalos durante el Día de los Tres Reyes Magos en vez del Día de la Navidad. And that is a brief history of the Three Kings Day or El Día de los Tres Reyes Magos. Ah, oh, I remember. I remember how much fun we have every year and I prepare a special crown and I wear it at the parade. But I cannot reminisce any longer with you, storyteller, because my podiatrist awaits me. All right, kid. Well, while Woody goes to the podiatrist, I hope you have a great day and you enjoyed this story of Three Kings Day and whatever holiday you celebrate, may it be merry and bright. Felicidades. <laughs>